Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to get client ID and client secret or how to generate basically the client ID and secrets for your Google account. So let's begin. Go to your Google account, log into the cloud console and over here, either you can use one of your existing project or you can create a new project. So what you can do, I'll go and quickly create a new project. Name this project, say for example, demo project. demo project and click on create it will take a while to create it so the demo project has been created select this project and then from this left hand options menu go to the api and services and go to the credentials part over here and over here you will see this screen so it says of course to configure this you can do this but in this video i'll just focus on creating the clients uh, uh, ids and secrets so just click on this create credentials and here you'll get options select the OAuth client id and this okay it's making mandatory to configure the concern screen so just go there and it's a new project as well so it's just make it internal because if it's external it will go through different verification process Okay, it's not letting me to add the internal because I think, oh, okay, so it's not a Google Works too, so we have to use external. But I think if you publish it, it will ask for the uh, approval from Google, so we will not publish it, we will just use it for the uh, test user. So, over here it's asking for the app name, we can just say demo app, use supported email, so just select, okay, I'll select my email ID, app log, I just leave it. All other things I leave it. The level of contact information is mandatory. So I enter my email ID again. But yeah, okay. Save and continue. Let's see what it says. It will go to the a scope. I think I can just leave as it is. So I'm just doing a very minimal thing over here. And uh, you can add users here. Probably I'll add again my this programmer world. Save and continue. Yeah, back to dashboard. So that was the mandatory step to configure the auth screen. So once uh, so don't publish the app, so it will ask for other uh, yeah, approval from the Google. So just go back to your credentials page and then here we'll just quickly do this step. So over here, just use the web application. You can name this web client one, anything you can name, whatever you prefer. There's no things you can leave as it is and just click on create. If you want, you can give other details, but you can leave it create and you'll get the client ID and client secret over here. Please note, I'll delete this, so uh, don't uh, use this client ID and client secret, which I'm showing on the screen. I'll definitely delete this immediately after this video, but just wanted to show you how easy it is. You can also download it in the JSON format and then you can open that file. When I open this file, the JSON file in a notepad, so let me just click open up. So this is the JSON file of the client ID which is here and the client secret I think which will be here yeah so that's all I wanted to show you in this short video that how easy it is you can just go on the, your credentials page create credentials and which is all two and then you'll get it if you miss out then you click on this and you'll get the all the information on the right hand side over here you can even add more secrets if you want multiple secrets you can disable uh, or enable uh, the secrets as per your uh, convenience over here so that's all. I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put it in the comment section below. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.